Hey guys, I'm Savannah. I'm Meredith. We are SNM. And today we are talking about mental health awareness because May is Mental Health Awareness Month. What is mental health? To me, mental health is your cognitive and your emotional well being. So, your thought processes and your feelings. Why is Mental Health Awareness Month in May important to you? So Mental Health Awareness Month is important to me because I have family members who struggle with mental illness and I also struggle with mental illness myself. Would you like to go into further detail about what you mean by I also deal with mental illness? I struggle with anxiety, OCD, depression, and PTSD pretty much on a regular basis. How would you say that you are coping with uh, your mental health at this present moment? Moderate. I mean, I'm dealing with it. I'm seeing a therapist, probably not as much as I should be. I am taking some medications. It took me a long time to figure out the right mix for myself. And, but in terms of my coping skills on a day-to-day -day basis, those could definitely improve because I'm just always an anxious ball of mess messy, anxious, fall mess. Uh, what is one piece of advice that you would have for other lesbian couples or any couple in general who is dating somebody who has a mental health condition? Well, for me, and this may not be right for you and your partner, but for me, I think having a support system for yourself is going to be the best thing because I mean, you want to make sure that your partner who is struggling with the mental illness has a support system, which includes you, but also make sure that you have a support system for yourself. Because I do believe that having, being with someone with a mental illness is taxing on them and it, it can also be taxing on you at times. And that's not to say that there's anything wrong with that person or that they're a burden, but you need support too, just as much as they do. Because when you also get support, you're able, you're better able to support your partner. It's good advice. I know. What would be your advice for family members, uh, parents specifically, I think, of children with mental health issues? What could they do best to serve their children, in your opinion? Listen to your child. Let them know that you are there for them and make yourself welcoming and inviting to talk to. If you just say, oh, well, you know you can talk to me anytime and you're not genuine about it or you're really not there when you're supposed to be there, then that's not going to do any good and then your child's just never going to come to you. You know, if, if you're a parent and your child is struggling with something, they, may, they, they might not want to talk to you about it. So don't push them, but maybe try to find ways to get them to open up that make them feel comfortable. Because I think, I think sometimes it's uncomfortable for the parents so they try to find ways that are more comfortable for them when they should be focusing on what is going to help their child open up. And I think sometimes parents can be kind of either forceful or too laxing. What is something that you would like to see done for Mental Health Awareness Month? You know, we, we have walks and we have fundraisers and we have these community events surrounding diseases and illnesses that you can physically see, but I don't really hear a lot about, you know, mental illnesses, you know, the invisible disabilities. I would like to see large scale community advocacy and fundraising for people who struggle with mental illness. Is there anything else you'd like to add about mental health or mental health awareness month? There's just so much that I want to say about this. I really think the only other thing that I can add to this video is no matter what you think about somebody, no matter if they have a physical disability or a mental disability or whatever it may be, don't judge a book based off of its cover, no matter what that cover may be and no matter whether or not, not you can see the cover. I mean, and whether or not you can see the cover. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. Don't judge a person. Don't judge a person by its cover. Or the lack of a cover if you can't see the cover be a good person if there is a certain topic or mental illness subject that you would like us to touch on please leave a comment in the description box below and we will be sure to get to it 
See you guys later. Bye. used to seeing myself on the camera. I know. It's tripping you out. I'm it? mesmerized. You like it though. I do. Okay. Because I look extra lesbian like. I have my lesbian A game on today. The only game I can play because I'm really terrible at sports. No, you play heroes. Heroes.